Hi Engineering Janta, I am Vaibhav Shukla and today we will be understanding the test preparation plan for Wipro Elite. The whole point of making this video is that once I posted that video of syllabus and test pattern, a lot of people were wondering sir what exactly is the preparation plan, a lot of people had DM'd me. Henceforth, I am making this video, you had DM'd our team as well. So, to all those people who were curious about various things, first of all, you can directly contact me at this particular Instagram handle, which is Shuklaji Speaks. That's my handle. And you can straight away ask your queries here. I can always tell you directly there. And also, if you want some special discounts on Prepinsta Prime, because all our viewers are aware of it, so you can go ahead and take the challenge up. You DM me the challenge and I'll throw some challenge at you. If you are able to solve that DSA question, I'll give you some extra coupon code. Well, nonetheless, moving ahead, you follow all the social media handles of Prep Insta so that you never miss any hiring update. Now, coming back again to the skeleton and the slides would be basically same as they were in the last video of syllabus and test pattern. But the main content of how to prepare is entirely different because that was syllabus and test pattern. There I told you what exactly can come. Here I would tell you how to prepare for that. Fine. I would give you resources. I would provide you things for that. So stay till the end. Watch it completely and make sure that you note down that you jot down the important points. Fine. Now the basic skeleton as we always do. It's fine. So aptitude test, quantitative ability, logical reasoning, verbal ability, three sections, 16, 14 and 18 to 22 questions in respective sections. Coding test, two questions, written communication test, essay writing. This is all about the online assessment and generally it happens for 128 minutes. Fine. So it is generally the online assessment that makes or breaks your chances initially. Fine. So this is a gatekeeper that you have to clear out. Fine. Now, if you want to clear it out well, you have to perform well in quantitative ability, correct? Now, I have told about Prep Insta Prime. I'll tell you in this video as well what exactly it can help you in and how exactly it can let you prepare easily. But I'll give you the free resources as well. As a lot of who might feel, there are a lot of people, right? Who have this feeling that, sir, I cannot afford or I cannot put any further pressure on my parents for getting me or bagging me some kind of course or some kind of certification there is a possibility however always it helps you always a certification helps you but there are some people who might not be able to afford it for them i'll tell the free resources as well don't worry i'll still say the same free maybe you can easily prepare in free but you will need extra hard work extra time extra effort and more importantly the collation of resources at one place fine now, coming to the quantitative ability portion, I've told you that these are the topics that come in the last video I have given you, that you go ahead and you actually take a screenshot of it. But what should be the order to actually get the maximum output from the quantitative aptitude section? So firstly and most importantly, you must do ratio and proportions, fine, probability, PNC. Now, how to cover these three topics? First of all, cover PNC because that would involve probability. Fine. Once you cover PNC, probability would involve PNC. Hence, what you need to know permutation and combination. You cover it, you go to probability, then you go to ratio and proportion. Fine. Or you prepare ratio and proportion independently, then cover PNC and probability. Fine. So, this is one bunch. Then you have to go ahead and cover this one bunch. First of all, cover profit and loss, then cover simple interest and compound interest, then come to time, speed, and distance. Once you're done with this, once you're thorough with this, what you should do is do not straight away jump to algebra rather than go ahead first do some problems on trains after time, speed and distance. Then go to geometry, coordinate geometry fine. After that pick up algebra. Once you finish algebra go to clocks and calendars, logarithms and inverse together. Then if you have energy and time in the end certs and indices and allegation and mixtures. Fine. So that's how you should plan it out. So in quantitative aptitude if you see there are 16 questions fine there are 16 questions it is always advisable when solving these questions in the actual exam always pick up profit loss first if you have practiced them well profit loss questions probability questions fine 
if you have practiced them well, these are very easy to solve. They will take very less time of yours. And the ratio questions. Pick them first while solving. Fine, that is very, very important. Then you can solve the other questions. It would give you momentum. Post this, come to logical reasoning. Always, whenever you pick up logical reasoning for any exam, be it any exam, fine. You must go ahead, first of all, practice statement and conclusions. That's the most important portion. Along with that, go ahead, practice some coding deductive logic, blood relations. Once you're done with this particular bracket, go ahead, coding and pattern and odd man out. This should be done. Along with that, you can also pair up analogy and classification. Once this is done, then seating and data arrangements, mathematical orders, inferred meanings and logical word sequences. This should be done together. Fine. Then syllogism, then directional sense, and in the last selection decision, tables. Fine. This is how you should go about logical reasoning. Once you're done here, so here generally you have 14 questions. So if you see, you have 14 questions in logical reasoning. Here, it is always advisable never straight away enter into coding deductive logic questions at first when you appear in the exam. The best thing to do is either you spend your time in odd man out questions or analogy and classification questions or if you're smart enough and you can do this, then what you can do is spend your time in logical word sequences and seating and data arrangements because seating and data arrangement questions generally have one premise and then five questions associated to them. So if you solve that whole premise, you can easily solve those five questions in just maybe one minute. Fine. So that's very, very helpful. However, generally in Wipro, it is not the pattern that they give five questions on seating and data arrangements, but still telling you out of the basic instinct that you should follow. Post this, you have verbal ability. Now, in verbal ability, always I say, apart from this, reading comprehension should be the first thing that you follow. But apart from all this, you must go ahead, read some good books as well. However, right now you do not have time for that. So, follow this syllabus very diligently. Reading comprehension should be done. Once it is done, sentence improvement and constructions, synonyms and antonyms, contextual vocabulary. Most importantly, error identification. Why am I putting it in box? This is very, very important. Practice it as much as you can. Error identification, contextual vocabulary, and reading comprehension. They are most rewarding sections of verbal ability. So you must go ahead and focus on them. Fine, then tenses and articles can be done. And in the last, if you want, preposition and conjunctions you can cover. Post that, you come to coding questions. That's the real deal where you actually usually fail. So to prepare them, the first basic requirement is, and so far I have told all the sources that are free. For quantitative aptitude, if you want the very basic resources, then there is one book called RS Agarwal. Fine. This is a free book, but this takes a lot of time. Fine. This takes a lot of time. Now, anybody who needs to deep dive into structural courses, Prep Insta Prime is for you. I'll show you that as well. But there is one more very efficient way, which is the aptitude for placement series. Fine. Aptitude for placement series. This is going on right now on YouTube for free on our channel by the Vyank sir. Fine. He teaches it live. Fine. So you can go ahead and watch it out. This is for free. Fine. Now, in this aptitude, he teaches you logical reasoning as well. He teaches you quantitative as well. Fine. Now, if I tell you about coding. Very basic. If you want to learn Python language, I have already made this free series Python in seven days fine so there are just seven lectures for placements fine and this is for free this is completely free this is available on youtube right now all the seven lectures now if you're somebody who wants dsa i am also right now into the process of making dsa in seven days placements fine dsa in seven days for placements and let me tell you one very interesting thing this dsa in seven days for placement is going on right now three lectures have already been done fine three lectures for the series have been done so you can go ahead and watch this out as well fine stay updated with the social media handles of prep insta because there whenever the live is happening 15 or 30 minutes before the live the general information is passed on to students that yes the live is going on come and join it out fine and this is for free 
absolutely free for coding questions and i do not teach a lot of theory in dsa classes i don't i teach you the concept immediately we dive into the question daily it's happening whenever the lecture happens for this dsa in 7 days three lectures have been done four lectures are left in these three lectures let me tell you we have covered array hashing hash maps along with that sliding window two pointers and we have covered the stacks yesterday fine so such things are being covered with this speed things are moving there so you can benefit from that if you are somebody who wants to learn from the very basic in a structured manner where you can actually benefit yourself for the longer term then what you can do is you can go to prep insta prime for the dsa course or if i go forward fine here for the coding question one top 100 codes can work these are the topics i have earlier explained about them that looping uh, algorithms coordinate geometry functions recursion these are the basic topics which generally cover this up but if you want a combined strategy for both the coding questions 150 not out is the way this is the list this is also available in the description of this video fine this is also available on prepinsta.com and this is for free this list is for free these are just 150 questions you practice them you have them on your fingernails if you attempt these questions believe me if you revise these questions well you can crack any company in this world and, and i'm not kidding on this any company oracle adobe microsoft and what not fine and if again i'm coming back to that if you want your time to be limited if you if you don't want to waste your time then what you should do as a smart student is you should go on i'll show you wait a minute so all you can do is you go to prepinstaprime.com fine right? so you go to prepinstaprime.com and here you enroll into the wipro course so i'll go to the course list you drag down to the companies and service based simply you go to the wipro course and see the syllabus yourself everything is covered in detail fine right? in detail everything you have here from logical ability verbal ability languages coding and what not everything is clearly available here fine interview preparation is there dsa is there so you can study things from the very basic in a structured manner for example if i open the dsa you see in whatever language you are comfortable in you can choose it and study it out for enrolling into this you can straight away go to this particular get prime button enroll in any of the subscriptions that you like and for the maximum discount i can help you out with this coupon code fine shukla and 10 this is the coupon code fine so i can help you out with this that would be very very helpful for you so that is one thing that's one way otherwise i've told you the free way as well i tell always both the resources free as well as paid the only difference is paid resource saves your time that's it it expedites it makes your preparation faster that's it if you're ready to burn extra night lamp if you're ready to go ahead to study more i have no issues go ahead study more fine you go ahead put harder effort put extra time and you can easily prepare if you're preparing it for free all those conditions need to be fulfilled that's it fine when once you've done with this you go ahead in business discussion preparation and for that you need to work a lot on your resume a lot i'm not kidding you need to have an ats friendly resume you need to build some good projects you need to be updated with skills like data science or ai pick any one good skill like data science machine learning deep learning data analytics or full stack development pick one good skill or cyber security fine build two or three good projects in it give the demoable link in your resume fine make it ats friendly resume should be ats friendly that's very very important and if you're done with this you know in and out of your resume you can easily clear your business discussion that's it fine so also you should keep on practicing dsa fine that is one very important thing this would still be relevant when you go to the inter fine so dsa is something very very important projects is something very very important along with that studying cs fundamentals is important for that dbms and sql I can bet nothing better than Prep Insta Prime. Find nothing, absolutely nothing better than Prep Insta Prime. When it comes to CN, here I can tell you one free resource, which is, in my opinion, 
is great resource for studying in free but generally it is too technical so sometimes people are afraid of it i'll tell you the book is written by a foreign author called tannenbaum fine this was told to me by my professor one of the best individuals i've met so far and sir if you're listening this dr chandar devakar sir it's due to you that i'm going ahead with this i am able to actually apply all this knowledge so thank you sir number 1 and this tan bomb book is great for computer networks now if you go ahead os is the next in line so for os i would suggest that you go and you study from any college notes or again prime can help you out with the same fine also there is software engineering fine so software engineering is very very important subject that is also very important to study so you should study waterfall models agile methodologies spiral models v models that would be enough for the interview then you go ahead practice the gd hr puzzles guesstimates for the hr round basically in the business discussion itself you will have that hr round as well fine some situational questions and case studies so that's pretty much about the preparation portion if you want to go ahead with advanced questions of dsa you can but generally in wipro elite business discussion it is not there fine let's be realistic so that's pretty much of uh, the preparation plan and if you guys are benefiting from this tell me in the comment section if you guys loved this video tell me in the comment section because top 3 comments might stand a chance to win this prep insta prime subscription for free right along with that i would need you to help as many people as you can fine keep doing good for others without any expectation good will always come back to you have a wonderful day ahead bye bye